Hello, my name is Jessica, and I will be taking you on this journey into history. I have always been fascinated with history, mysteries, and the paranormal. So I decided to create a podcast that encompasses all those things. If you find these things fascinating, like me, then please, I encourage you to come along each week to see where history takes us next. Hey, this is Jessica from Ancient Secrets and Haunted Journeys. The month of October is going to be a little different. Uh, Every day I am going to visit a different haunted location. So please be sure to come back and see where we go next. Ahoy, brave souls and seekers of the unknown. Tonight, we're setting sail, not just to any place, but to the oldest city in the U.S., St. Augustine, Florida. Unfasten your earthly tethers and prepare your souls, for we are about to ascend the spiraling steps of the St. Augustine Lighthouse, a beacon in the night that guides not just ships, but restless spirits back to the land of the living. Situated on Anastasia Island, this towering sentinel overlooks the Atlantic Ocean. Built in 1874, this maritime monument has guided countless vessels through treacherous waters. But some souls were not so fortunate and have found eternal residence within its walls, leaving an indelible spectral mark on this place. Let's delve into the eerie tale of the ghostly children. According to local legends, the daughter of Ezekiel Pitti, a man involved in the lighthouse's construction, tragically drowned during its building. Visitors often hear the sounds of children's laughter and footsteps running up and down the lighthouse stairs. Tourists have even claimed to hear giggles and see small, shadowy figures darting between the trees. An EVP captured a child's voice inviting them to come play. Next, we have the lingering spirits of former lighthouse keepers, believed to be either Joseph Andrew or Peter Rasmussen. Visitors have reported smelling the distinct aroma of a cigar, which was Rasmussen's known habit, and seeing a figure standing at the top of the lighthouse, peering out to sea. A paranormal investigator even captured an EVP of a man's voice saying, I'm watching. The basement and the staircase are other areas where the paranormal activity is off the charts. Visitors have reported hearing footsteps ascending the staircase when no one else is around and feeling cold spots in the basement. One daring soul who ventured into the basement alone felt a sudden forceful push on their back. Another heard footsteps following them up the staircase only to find no one there when they turned around. But the lighthouse doesn't just harbor human spirits. Reports also include sightings of a spectral cat that roams the keeper's quarters. It's ghostly meows echoing in the still night air. So, my dauntless disciples of the dark, Would you dare to climb the 219 steps of the St. Augustine Lighthouse? Would you venture into its haunted keeper's quarters or stand atop its tower, peering into the abyss? Remember, in this lighthouse, the line between the living and the dead is as blurred as the ocean mist. Thank you for joining me on this spectral stop to the St. Augustine Lighthouse, where the light not only guides ships, but also lost souls. Until next time, keep seeking those ancient secrets and haunted journeys. Where the light guides you, shadows follow. Are you ready to meet them? <laughs>